Hey guys, Andrew here just to uh, do a quick video to go along with the creating hair textures for Unreal. I was asked uh, through a message on ArtStation if I knew how to bake the ambient occlusion to the vertices of the hair carts. And uh, the reason for doing this is because the uh, hair shader in Unreal can utilize this. And it, uh, it is something that can help add a little bit of depth to your hair. It's a pretty subtle effect, but it does help. As you can see, I do have it baked so that the inner layers are darker and the outer layers are brighter. So give me a moment and we'll load up a new scene so I can show you from scratch. So uh, here we are with the uh, new scene loaded. This is without any of the ambient occlusion baked. And I do turn off the uh, head because um, it's not something you would be having on when you're baking this thing. So if I go through my layers, you can see um, they're all just flat gray now. There's no AO baked into any of them. Personally, I do also think it helps to uh, do this in layers too so that you can go from a you know, darker color underneath to brighter as you go out. It helps add a lot of depth to your hair. Um, so you can probably do it all at once too, in one big clump if that's what you got, but that's how I did it. To get started under the uh, rendering category, under lighting and shading, we need to go to batch bake mental ray. And just as a quick note, um, Mental Ray doesn't come with any version of Maya after 2015. You have to install it as a separate thing and then enable it in the plugins. If you can't find it, just download Maya 2015 and you should be good to go. So if you click the option box, you should get this uh, menu here uh, with all your options for baking, which we're going to go over here in a second. But before I do that, I need to go over here and turn off everything but the top two layers. I need to select my base layer and then have the one layer above it on to occlude that base layer. So now going over the options, uh, you know, you need to set it to objects to bake selected. Make sure you have it set to vertices where you can use perspective camera. Make sure you have occlusion selected. I think a lot of these options were the default 64 rays. Uh, Make sure you have bake color checked because you need to have that. You don't need bake alpha. All this stuff is fine. Uh, this is stuff you can mess with. You can mess with filter size and filter tolerance. I believe I changed this from the defaults. So you can copy these values if you want, but this is what I have. And you can mess with those if you want. So now we're just gonna click convert to do the first layer here. And Maya's gonna take a second to think. So now we have our first uh, layer baked with AL. You can see it looks pretty ugly right now, but don't worry. In the next step, we are going to clean this up. But first, we want to get all our baking done. So just bear with me while we finish the next set of layers. So now I make my second layer visible. And we're going to make the layer above that one visible too in order to occlude it and just do the same thing again. So now that layer's baked, and we're going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to make the upper layer visible now and bake the occlusion for this layer. Just hit convert again. And then one more time, just hit convert. Let me make sure I select all of the hair cards here. There we go. So with this, uh, you know, our hair AO is pretty much baked, but, you know, it still looks ugly and messy in places, especially that bottom layer, as you can see. So we're going to fix this now, and I'm going to show you how. So what we're looking for is uh, uh, the painting vertices tool. It uh, should be here under modeling, actually, under mesh display. Uh, Paint Vertex Color Tool. And I'm going to open that with the option box so we get all of our options here. So as you can see, I'm going to go over the options here really quick. I, you can use Solid Brush. 
and uh, the operations here are important. You want to pick smooth to start out with, because we're just going to flood it with smooth. I'm going to show you how and why here in a second. So just click flood a few times with smooth selected. It's going to help clean things up quite a bit just with that. So looking over it, there's a few areas we can maybe smooth out a little bit more and clean up. So going back to our paint vertices brush here, uh, you can uh, you can pick your color value and go over to replace. Actually, I'm going to start smooth here and just start smoothing some areas that have a little bit of a harsher transition here. Like this area here looks a little wonky. So I'm actually going to use this little uh, eyedropper tool to select that color and kind of blend these in together a little bit better. And so, you know, technically you don't need the, the AO baking option of Mentor Ray. If you can't get a hold of Mentor Ray, you can do this all by hand if you want. It just takes a lot longer, obviously. Because all it's looking for is just basic color vertice stuff. So I'm just going in here and just showing you the process here. I'm just cleaning this up a bit. I'm not going to spend a long time on this because this is just for demonstration. But this is just kind of how it's done. So just I'm going to start going to these next layers now. Same deal. I'm just going to go back to smooth and click flood a few times to smooth the whole thing out. And you'd go through the same process again by just cleaning things up by hand if you want, but I'm not going to do that here. Like, I think you already get it at this point. Bear with me here for a second. Go back, click flood, the smooth selected, and then one more time. Final uh, layer here. You need to make sure to select all of them. Back to our paint vertices tool, with smooth selected, flood. So that's the gist of it. I mean, you kind of get it, I think, at this point. So now I'm going to move on to Unreal and show you how all of this applies to the actual hair shader. So here we are in Unreal. Right now I have the AO, the baked AO we did turned off. And so just looking over it, you can see how it looks. And so we have an option here called Use Vertex Colors. And this is what we need to turn on in order to apply it. And as you can see, it's a, it's a subtle effect. It actually brightens it based on the white parts of the vertices. So what we need to do here is we lower the overall brightness and then we brighten it back up. So it's only brightening up the, the lighter aspects of the vertices. And you can kind of get this extra depth and contrast to the, uh, to the hair. So just use a combination of these two parameters and you can add just a little bit of effect. I wouldn't go overboard with it, but it can help just to add a little bit more extra depth to the uh, hair itself, which I think is kind of nice. Again, turning it off and on. It's pretty subtle. It's not nothing major, but this was uh, this is something I use, and I think it, it does help. Anyways, uh, that's it. hope this was uh, helpful. 
let me know if you guys have any more questions and I'll see if I can uh, do something to help you guys out. That's it.